Chuck from Alaska Ballistics. Hope you're doing well today. Today we'll be shooting the 17 HMR. It is the Ruger American bolt action. It takes uh, uh, Ruger 1022 Magnum magazines. All right, shoots the 17 HMR, great gun. I've done a short review video on this gun if you want to go look at that. I've also done a chronograph of each one of the rounds we'll be shooting, but today we're going to be shooting for accuracy to see which one produces the tightest groups. We got the 20 grain Hornady XTP, the 20 grain CCI Game Point ammunition, 20 grain CCI Game Point ammunition, the 20 grain Full Metal Jacket ammunition from CCI, the A17 ammo from CCI. It is also meant for the AC. Uh, 17 Savage Rifle, which I don't have, but I thought this would be good because it might produce a faster powder burn in the shorter barrel. And then I also have the 17 grain uh, VMAX from Hornady. Alright, so this is their 17 HMR VMAX 17 grain round. Alright, those are the rounds that we're going to be shooting for t accuracy today. Make sure you like and subscribe to the video and to the channel and hit the little bell in the bottom corner for notifications on new videos. we got a lot of new videos coming out soon. All right, thank you for watching. Enjoy the video. Alright, you can see here the group from the Hornady, this is at 50 yards. First group was Hornady XTP 20 grains, this group is going to be the Game Point 20 grains from CCI. All right, there's the group from the CCI game point. One flyer that was dead center, the rest of them were too high and to the left.
All right, tightest group yet. As I told you all last night when I did my intro videos, that uh, the CCI Full Metal Jackets, that's what the gun just seems to love. That's what I've been running. All right, moving over to this next target, we're gonna be shooting the Savage A17 ammo. Savage A17 ammo. All right, we're going to be shooting the Hornady 17 grain. Um, it's out of the 17 HMR Ruger American, their 17 grain varmint tip. All right, it's their VMAX. And you saw the chronograph results. If you didn't, go check out that video. And here it is on this accuracy test video. All right, that's the results there from the 17 grain Hornady VMAX. All right, here Chuck from Alaskan Ballistics, showing you the results of the 17 HMR accuracy test. All right, first off, we have the 20 grain XTP. And edge to edge, it's about an inch and three quarters, edge to edge, about an inch and three quarters. Move over here to the 20 grain game point. Including the flyer, it's about an inch and looks like uh, 15 sixteenths. Inch and 15 sixteenths, just under two. Um, maybe seven eighths, inch and seven eighths. If you do not include the flyer, it's a nice right at one inch group edge to edge. I always include the flyer because you shot it, but that's that. Going to the full metal jackets next. And the longest measurement on them is three quarters of an inch, three quarters of an inch. All right, let me move this camera over to show you the A17 here. This one did much better than the first time I tested it, which was off camera, of course, but and this is right at an inch, maybe an inch and a sixteenth. Right at an inch, maybe an inch and a sixteenth. All right, lastly, here we have the 17 grain, 17 HMR VMAX from Hornady. Look at this group at 50 yards. And with the flyer, it's an inch and a quarter. Without the flyer, again, pretty good. It's about seven eighths of an inch or so. But with the flyer, inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter. All right. Let's check again from Alaskan Ballistics. Gonna zoom out here. I like my Ruger American. It's a good rifle. It's a nice little hunting rifle. It is not the precision shooter that, say, a um, Savage or a Marlin heavy barrel is going to be. All right, Chuck here again. You see the results of the accuracy test. It's not a precision shooter that the Marlin claims to be, and many of the reviews on the Savage and the Marlins claim to be. Um, some things I learned. I already knew the Full Metal Jacket round would be the most accurate, and 
um, but in testing in the winter when it was a little more windy, um, these two right here, the X, uh, TP and the game point, were also a little bit more accurate. Today, CCI um, A17 came in second place. It was a lot less windy at the range today, and I took my time between wind bursts. There's a little slight breeze in the air here and there, um, but this bullet, it really is affected by wind and what you do uh, with it. And so in the winter, when I had to sight it in, it was all to the left today because there was no wind blowing. So that's some of the things I learned. All right, we recited the gun in. We're going to do shoot some clay pigeons with it. So make sure you go look at that video. All right, and I hope you learned something. Maybe if you have the same gun or a similar setup or want a shorter barrel 17 for hunting, um, this is the gun for you. Uh, but here's what the ammo does out of it and out of mine. And so I hope uh, you've learned something. That's what my channel's for the ballistics for the ballistics nerd like me. All right, like and subscribe. Y'all have a blessed day.